An invasive beetle that kills ash trees has been confirmed in Arkansas, and state agencies are conducting a public awareness campaign in hopes of slowing its spread across the state. Though they make up less than 2% of the tree population in the state, ash trees are popular in urban settings as shade trees and contribute to the lumber industry, with some 9 million board feet being harvested each year. But they're being threatened by a small beetle, the emerald ash borer, that attacks and kills them. Native to Asia, the EAB was first discovered in Michigan in 2002. Though only the size of a penny, it's responsible for killing tens of millions of ash trees in more than 13 states and has been confirmed in Clark, Columbia, Dallas, Hot Spring, Nevada, and Washita counties in Arkansas. A briefing was held August 13th at the State Plant Board involving Extension Service, Forestry Commission, Nursery Owners, Game and Fish Commission, and other concerned parties. Scott Bray is Director of Plant Industry at the Plant Board. Some channels of communication were open and it was decided to establish a task force to look at how we want to move forward as far as primarily public outreach and how we're going to try to educate the public in general, landowners and other entities within the state as to how they can best protect themselves from the emerald ash borer and how best to proceed without spreading the borer further. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has established quarantines in the states where the ash borer is known to exist to prohibit the movement of ash materials and firewood out of those states. In Arkansas, the State Plant Board is considering a quarantine for the counties where the EAB has been confirmed and 19 surrounding counties. The place where we think it's come into Arkansas is through imported firewood. So our main message, if you have firewood, use it where you buy it. Use it where you cut it, in the same county or maybe one county over, but don't, don't move firewood. Sam Kim is survey coordinator for the plant board and has been examining trees across the state to confirm damage from the EAB. One of the first signs of activity is canopy dieback, or if the top of the tree appears dead. Other sure signs are S-shaped galleries on the trunk or underside of bark made by larvae. For urban ash tree owners, protecting the trees is expensive, but Kim says there are options. You can do trunk injections, you can do ground drench, and you can also do canopy and trunk sprays. So those are the three treatments you can do right now. Um, and also if it's too damaged, tree removal will probably be the cheapest way to go. Um, we're looking, I think, anything less than 50% canopy dieback would be okay to treat. Anything greater than 50%, in the long run, it'll be cheaper to just remove the tree. If you think you have evidence of EAB damage to ash trees, or have questions about how to protect them, contact the State Plant Board at 501-225-1598.